Hello, Hello Loveland. Loveland. Hey, uh, David Miller here, and uh, I've got an important announcement to make uh, to all the readers and viewers, and it's uh, one of these bittersweet kind of uh, announcements, but it's, uh, it's something I'm really proud to make, um, and it's about Cassie. Um, we've really worked hard the last December, January, February, March, now to the middle of March, to uh, because I think we both came to the realization that Cassie needed to kind of move on, move up, because we just weren't able to pay her enough and give her benefits like she deserves. Uh, you know, um, health care and, and retirement uh, accounts and things like that. So Cassie has an important announcement to make about that, but I wanted you as, as readers and viewers to know too that this is uh, kind of a celebration here because we've reached a goal. Um, and it doesn't mean that Cassie is going to disappear completely. No. Mm -mm. Um, and it actually comes just on, I guess, the heels of our 18th anniversary, which is sometime next week, and we're going to make that announcement too. So it's uh, kind of like Cassie, I think you've given me personally an anniversary present because of this success. That, yep. So I want you to tell people about it right now. All right. Hi everyone. So uh, I'm really excited to announce that I have been given the opportunity to, like David said, you know, have the security I need. Um, we all need security, right? Um, I I'm in the market to buy a home, uh, you know, move forward. So. I uh, have been recently given the position at the Butler County Board of Developmental Disabilities as the PR coordinator. Um, I'm really excited. This is a lifelong dream. Um, my dad has been in special education for 25 years, 20 to 25. Um, my Aunt Mindy actually has worked at the board for 18 years, so really important to me, a great cause. Um, as you all know, I love PR. I love event planning. Um, it's one of my pride and joys. I love advertising. I love marketing. I love creative writing. And I'm going to be able to do all these things while getting the benefits, <laughs> right? While getting a salary, which is nice. Um, you know, it's not all about the money, but let's be real. In this day and age, um, you know, you do need to support yourself. Well, that money means security. Yes, yes, absolutely. So um, David has worked hard to get me to this point. Um, I, do. I helped her get the job. Yes, yes. Um, a little so, bit. Yeah, they, he so, did. So, so um, I'm all in with this. Yep. During the interview, they, the process, they did call David. Um, they also called David Kennedy. Thank you so much for your reference. And they both helped me um, get this job with their kind words. Um, you know, in 2017, I knocked on the door at Loveland Magazine and we had that first meeting. And it's just been a whirlwind from there. Uh, this has taught me so much about myself, um, about how to work uh, with someone that, you know, we, at the time when we started, we had different points of views, right? We had different ways of doing things. And we taught each other how to mesh what we do into one great publication. And I think we have um, jumped leaps and bounds from 2017. Um, now, like David said, the most important thing we want to let everyone know is that I am not disappearing. I still live in Loveland. I still want to be a part of Loveland. It's just that I'm taking a step back to see what this job will entail. And then from there, we'll decide kind of, you know, what my responsibilities will be. Um, I still am going to help these wonderful interns, uh, you know, the internships program that we started. Um, in saying that, we did recently promote one of our interns to the social media specialist, Miss Olivia Rowling. Uh, congratulations. Uh, she's an OU student at uh, the Scripps Journalism School, and she is pursuing her social media certification as well. So um, she's going to start next week with doing all those things. So I'm really happy for her. Um, we also are thinking about promoting some other interns into maybe our pet of the month column, um, maybe doing some food stories. So really the sky's the limit. Um, we are so happy with where we are right now. And it is bittersweet, but like David said, it's a celebration because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Loveland Magazine. The reason I got this position is because of my years of experience at Loveland Magazine. That's literally the reason, you know, along with, you know, my great personality, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but um, it, it really has been great. And like I said, we wanted to be respectful in the way we do this. We wanted you, the readers, to know that we care about you guys so much that we wanted to do this announcement on camera so everyone knows exactly what's going on. Because as you know, me yeah. and David have been the face of this uh, since 2017. David, even more, more so before then when you first started the magazine. So we didn't want you to think that Loveland Magazine was going to be gone, you know, because it's never going to be gone. We love supporting Loveland. We love supporting its businesses. Um, we're here. We're here. It just might be a little bit um, different as in the faces that you'll be seeing, which will be nice. We're going to get some young blood in there and, you know, I'm in my 30s now, so I ain't so young, you know, oh, so yeah. we're going to get some young blood in there and, you know, maybe Let's some, not talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> some new technology and some new ideas and some new ways of writing and, you know, different types of events that we're going to be doing. You know, we're going to hold a food drive on April 16th with the Chamber of Commerce and Life Food Pantry. It's going to be so awesome in downtown Loveland. So those are some of the things we're going to continue to do. Um, David, what do you want to add to this, uh, you know, amazing moment? Like I said, I thank you so much for everything you've done for me. This is just great. And, you know, my family's happy, you know, they're, they're so appreciative of what you've done for me as well. Is there anything that you want to say to the people to kind of let them know, you know, what we're going to do from here on out and what the future holds for us? Well, the, the, the future is still really bright for us and I'm not fearful of that at all, except that it's going to be more work for me <laughs> trying to. <laughs> do do some of the things that Cassie has done every day, um, but but we're both working together on that to to make sure that all happens. I did want to say though that uh, to assure people of where we're at with this or where I'm at with it personally is that it became apparent to me fairly quickly after you started uh, that Loveland Magazine wasn't going to hold on to Cassie Mattia forever that she w would move on. And uh, not that Love the Magazine was any great springboard, but uh, so that's been in my mind for quite a few years now. And then it transitioned into, I really need to help Cassie be able to afford a home. And uh, to be more independent as a female in the workplace. And to have, so she feels that independence too that she's not dependent on other people. And I think that's important for all women. And, and uh, I think hopefully my daughters can attest to that. My wife can attest to that. Uh, so this is something we both work, work towards and we worked pretty hard at it the last month. Right, so right. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. And rest assured, the businesses that we help right now, advertising, marketing, we're still going to be awesome at it like we have been, you know, yeah. like I said, Olivia is going to crush it with their advertising for social media, which let's be real. Where's advertising going? Not in print. Okay. It's just not, it's on social media and she's going to crush it. And I can assure you, I have thought long and hard about who I wanted to replace me in that aspect. And she's the one. She's and that would have it. been a natural progression progression anyway. Right. Correct. Correct. To, to be able to move things towards towards her and give yep. her these opportunities yep. because that's what we want to do for an intern. Right. That's the whole point of the internship program. And that was our that was our idea from the get go to we, we you know, like you said, you know that eventually I was going to find something that offered the security. And the whole point of the internship program was to be able to hand off responsibilities. That's the whole point of, you know, owning a business. You yeah. want to be able to eventually sit back and maybe write your creative stories or do things that maybe you couldn't do because you were running the business. Now, you know, we're going to have interns helping us out in that aspect. And now we were able to fully give a piece of the business to Olivia, Olivia which is yeah. amazing. And, and like, we just got off a zoom call with her and she's at the end just said she's pretty excited. Yes. And you can see her face lighting yep. up. So thank you, Olivia. Yep. And be sure to tune in to her feature story that we posted last week. Um, it was a music uh, album review and unreal. Um, we have that on Loveland magazine on our publication. We have it on our social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So be sure to check that out and kind of get a feel for how Olivia, you know, puts herself out there and her language and she's, she's the way she speaks. It, it's very unique. And that's what we want to bring to Loveland magazine. And not to mention, you know, she's a female girl power. So we love that. <laughs> we like men too, but 
we love that Olivia is bringing bringing the the female power to Loveland Magazine. So into herself, into herself, Amen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, we just wanted to be you know candid as always. I feel like we've always been that way. And uh, of course, if you guys have any questions, we are going to be releasing this interview, publishing it, putting it out on social. Feel free to ask us questions, you know, if you want to email us or if you want to put a comment on Facebook as to what the future holds or if you have feedback, please let us know. We're open and willing and the reason we survived this long is because we're always looking at your feedback and taking it into consideration and changing and evolving. So, um, David, any last words? Well, no. <laughs> We accept, I do have a last word, because we should have practiced this too. <laughs> we don't um, need practice. <laughs> you always say, see you around town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one, two, three. See, see you around, around town, Loveland. Loveland.